It's so empty here without the children. I wish I could have gone on that field trip with them. Oh, it's you. I'm glad you're here. Victoria's sick. One minute she's fine, and the, the next she's hard. A necklace. A necklace? Well, well, it's on the dresser. She broke the latch, but I fixed it. Has anyone been asking about her? No. They're here. I've got to move Victoria fast. Where's the safest place in the building? Oh, uh, oh the basement, the basement. Get down there quickly. I'll meet you there with Victoria. Yes, yes, of course. Oh, heaven be praised. Oh. Come. <coughs> Thank you. You came back. Just like you said. I was so, so scared. Were those gunshots? Don't worry. I promised Diana to keep you safe. I know what you've been through. No one will harm you ever again. What's that noise? Shh. Don't make a sound. No, it's okay. It's just a thing. God, what are the duct tape? That's Wade for you. The guy likes his car. to get the power back on. Sister Mary is waiting in the basement. I will meet you both there. It's gotten way out of hand, man. What the hell are we doing? Finishing off what we started. Let's go. We gotta find the girl. What's up, guys? It's Bruce for again. Coming at you with another episode of Hitman Absolution. This is episode six. Rosewood. Um, I wanted to come in late on this video so that you guys could take up the whole story because I actually do find it quite uh, interesting that they uh, decided to take the story in the direction that they did and that we actually got to kind of experience that intimate moment there between 47 and Victoria because uh, I don't know if I talked about this in a previous video or not but if I did whatever but uh, there's only ever been two human cloning projects mentioned in this game series. One being the human cloning project in this game that Victoria was came, came from. And the original one, which the only evidence of is 47. Because when he found out about it, he went back to the lab where the project was being performed. Killed every scientist working under Dr. Ortmeier. Killed Dr. Ortmeier and then killed every other clone in the lab and then confiscated and destroyed all the files on the project. So he literally is a ghost. And now the uh, Travis has been uh, using agency resources to attempt another human cloning project which Victoria came from and 47 having been through that and having the relationship he has with Diana you know he swore to take care of this little girl so she wouldn't have to go through all that 
and I think that that was really powerful. So that was really cool to see. And I also find it interesting that uh, we actually get to see Diana in this game because you never saw her face in any of the other games, ever. So that was really cool. Kind of get to see her a little bit more there. So anyway, uh, we're going after fuses. I already grabbed one. Sorry, I was kind of just chit-chatting there. Uh, I already grabbed one. On lower difficulty levels, I would start from the top floor and work my way around. But on this difficulty level, with timing and placement, it's much easier to do what I'm doing now. So we snuck in, grabbed the first fuse, knocked that guy out in the hallway to make it easier to go back later. The, uh, there's another fuse in here that we're going to get as soon as I set everything up here. And the third fuse is actually by the elevator, so we're going to detour from that one. Choke this guy out. Go to sleep. So we're going to go get that fuse up top before we get that last one down here. Uh, the fuses do move in difficulty levels. So, fuses... Like, the, the last fuse we're going to get that's by the elevator room is normally in the stairwell that I came through earlier. But now it's out on the table in the main lobby. And, uh... So they move around on the higher difficulties. So uh, you, really all you're going to get from playing across difficulties is the general placement of things. So anyway, we just snatched that fuse. Now we're making our way back here. We're going to distract that guy that just walked past and pick up the syringe. Okay, that was the sound. And as soon as he moves, we're going to make our way through the hall. There's going to be another guy, a guy in the gas mask that walks by when you're choking that other dude out. He's right there. So as soon as he moves up, we're going to take him out. But anyway, yeah, I thought this level was a nice little intimate moment between the two. And I guess you can't kill kids in video games. So it was an interesting way of introducing this because, you know, she can't die. So... Anyway, we're going to sneak over here, and I almost, I was having a hard time getting this part recorded, because I kept missing my timing over here, <clears throat> and it was because I forgot a very important step that I almost forgot here. I almost got spotted there, so I moved back, then I remembered. You got to hang out against this pillar, wait for the guy in that room to move forward. We're going to sneak across, look this wall. Jump across, chuck a book to distract those guys. And then quickly and carefully, because I missed my timing on that, they're a little too far apart. Sneak across here and just keep going. You're going to hear static, but just keep moving. And then we're going to head upstairs, because all the guys that are upstairs, that's another reason why we're doing it this way. All the guys up, that are upstairs at the starter level are now gone. Except one guy watching the stairwell to the left, so go right when you get up here. Yeah, see, there he is. He's got his back turned to us. So there's the fuse, which is also usually in this room, but in a different location. Grab that syringe. So now that we got that, we're going to take this stairwell back downstairs to get the last fuse, which is normally at the bottom of this stairwell, but like I said, it's been moved into the lobby. So we're going to sneak through here and create a distraction and get that thing. There's going to be a guy right outside here. There he is. Just want to chuck this just past him to get him to turn his back. And sneak over here and grab the fuse. Right there. And I could have made it all the way to the elevator here, but just to be safe, I decided to sneak back. But uh, all you have to do is chuck something else over there as soon as that guy comes back around. As soon as he comes back this way and turns his back, chuck it, and head to the elevator. And then you're good to go. We'll get ready to start the next part. Actually, there's a cutscene coming up here, and that's where I'm going to have to cut this off, so I will see you for part two.
You're a tough guy, Lenny? Hmm? Tough guy? Stop it! Come on, man, you tough guy? Come on. Come on, you tough guy? Come on, man! No! Come on! Okay, I'll show you! Uh, Shut up, bitch! Oh! Or I'll put a cap in your ass! Look out, everybody! We better make room for Lip Dick Lenny! Come on! You know what, way? Tell you what, Lenny, we better let the grown-ups clean up this. Mm-mm. Boys, keep watch, huh? Nice job, Lenny. Nice job. 